Smith. West Virginia officials took a step toward addressing the opioid epidemic in, this epidemic in the state today. The West Virginia First Foundation Board held its first meeting this morning. The board will decide how to spend most of the money the state gets from opioid settlements. The state stands to get around $1 billion. Just under 25% of that money will go directly to counties and cities. Foundation Board Chair Matthew Harvey said local governments will start seeing that money soon. It's my understanding that the counties and the municipalities portions of this settlement fund, which is, is significant, is $73.5 million, will be able to be deployed to the local municipalities and counties this calendar year. Attorney General Patrick Morrissey said much of the settlement funds will be distributed throughout the state over 10 or 15 years per the terms of the settlement agreement. The board is made up of 11 members. Six are elected by local officials across the state and five were appointed by Governor Justice. An executive director of the board has yet to be appointed.